Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. Contact me for data analysis and training. You can contact me through email or WhatsApp. In this video, we will discuss about homoscedasticity using Bruce Pagan test. When we do regression analysis, one of the important assumptions is homoscedasticity. They ask to test whether your data is having homoscedasticity. Now let us see what is homoscedasticity is. Homoscedasticity refers to the assumption in regression analysis that the variance of error or residual is constant across all levels of the independent variables. It means to say that there is no relationship between the residuals to that of independent variable. Then it is called homoscedasticity. The data must be homoscedasticity. We expect the data to be homoscedasticity. So we will be testing to see whether homoscedasticity assumption is satisfied or not in the regression analysis. For that purpose, generally what we do is We'll go to analyze. In analyze, we'll go to regression. In regression, we have linear regression. In this linear regression, we'll take the dependent variable. In this case, it is sales is a dependent variable. And we'll take the independent variables. Here we have two independent variables, job experience and education. Now in this, we'll go to plots and we will take this predictor variables as x-axis and residuals as y-axis. Click continue and click OK. Now in the output screen, we will directly go to the plot. Where we see the screen plot, the relationship between standardized residuals to the top standardized predictor value. If there is no pattern in the data, we say the data is homoscedasticity. If we have some sort of pattern, then we say the data is not homoscedasticity. It means it is heteroscedasticity. But it becomes very tough to justify whether pattern is there or pattern is not there. For that purpose, we are going to do this Bruce Pagan test. Okay. Now let us do this Bruce Pagan test in SPSS and come to a conclusion whether we have homoscedasticity in the data or not. For that purpose, we must again go to analyze. In analyze, we must go to general linear model. You please see the navigation. We are not going to regression. We are going for analysis to general linear model in this univariate. Okay. Now in this, we need to take the dependent variable as it is a sales and independent variables as fixed factors. We have taken years of job experience and years of education. And in this, click on options. In this button, we have here Bruce Pagan test. You need to select this check button. Okay. And click continue. You can see the significant level is 0 0.05. Click continue and click OK. Now we are in the output screen where we can say test for heteroscedasticity. You can read this null hypothesis. The null hypothesis states that test the null hypothesis that the variance of error does not depend on the values of independent variables. It means to say there is no relationship between residuals to that of independent variable. This is a null hypothesis. See the significant value. The significant value is 0 0.927, which is more than 0 0.05. When the significant value is more than 0 0.05, we accept the null hypothesis. It means to say there is no relationship between residuals to that of independent variable means what the statement here it is given it is accepted it is saying that the null hypothesis that the variance of error 
does not depend on the values of the independent variable. It means to say the errors does not have a relationship between the independent variable. We are accepting it. So the data is having homoscedasticity. In case if the significant value is less than 0 0.05, then we reject the null hypothesis. It means homoscedasticity is not there. This significant value in this case is more than 0 0.05. So, we are accepting that homoscedasticity is there in the regression analysis and we come to a conclusion saying that the assumptions of regression is accepted. We are proving that the data is having homoscedasticity. If the significant value is more than 0 0.05, we accept. If it is less than 0 0.05, we reject and say that there is no homoscedasticity. It means there is heteroscedasticity in the data. This is a simple and easy way to come to a conclusion to prove whether the data is having homoscedasticity or not. I wish this video will be useful for your research. Thank you.